Kevin Harmon bringing it up. And down the sideline he goes. And this one isn't over yet. Woo! Ray Hill, the man who kicked off, made the stop along the sideline. Well, if you like excitement, we have a lot of it tonight. Kevin Harmon dips up inside, sees the opening. Great speed and quickness. And all of a sudden, guys in the black are chasing guys in the white. Couldn't have been a bigger play at a bigger time for Iowa. Iowa got a big break against Minnesota. Minnesota had 12 men on the field, and Hoffman had an opportunity to kick again and got the field goal in that won it. 39 seconds remaining. Handoff going to Hudson. Hudson is down near the 30-yard line. Let's call it the 31. Clock running inside 30. Yep. Get on the line of scrimmage. Headed number 94 on the tackle. One timeout left for the Hawkeyes. Much time. They're taking a great deal of it. You know, no question about that, Dave. Lost it all kinds of time, and he's going to throw it away. 11 seconds. I would think they have time for one play. They've got to try to get a completion that maybe is in Hopland's range. He tried a 62-yarder earlier in the game and came up way short. The ball is just over the 30-yard line. If he was to go from this point, it would be about a 47-yarder. Rick Bayless comes into the game. There's Rob Hopland waiting on the sidelines. I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see Iowa run the football in situation. They give it to Bayless. Bayless going through, and he bites his way down to the 24. Timeout is called with four seconds left. Or did they call timeout? They got the first down, but I think they also called timeout. They did. Four seconds remaining. So the ball is just inside the 25-yard line. It's probably going to be about a 41-yard attempt. Outland has kicked a 49-yarder this year. Big one last year to beat Michigan in Iowa City, so he's certainly capable of coming through at crunch time. His 37-yarder won it against Minnesota as time ran out. Forty-one yarder is what I'm guessing it's gonna be when they spot it down. Everybody in this stadium is standing. What a tremendous performance by both these clubs, Dave. It really has been an exciting game. You almost wish that somehow the, the two teams could tie and everybody could go home a winner. Chuck Hartley will hold. Now they're going to call timeout and try to ice him a little bit. Turnaround is fair play, although this, this uh, field goal is considerably longer than the other one. Iowa scored first on a five-yard run by Bayless. 8-10 of the first period to make it 7-0. San Diego State came back with a six-yard pass. Santos to Hardy. The extra point was missed, and it was a 7-6 lead still for Iowa. That's the way the first period ended. 44-yard pass to Jackson. 14-7 with 6.38 left in the second. Classic scoring from one yard out. That made it a 14-13 score. 2.22 left in the second period. 28-yard pass to Gilbreth made it 21-13. And that's the way it was at halftime. San Diego State leading. Gilmore scoring. 7.52 of the third period to make it 28-13 San Diego State. Hudson from one yard out. 4.58 of the third. 28-21 as we came to this last period of play. And it was Hardy and Cook flag 21 yard field goal a moment ago. And here we are, high pass. The kick is away, and it is good. Oh, what a job Hartley did getting the ball down for Hotland. And the Iowa Hawkeyes have won 
it 39-38. What a tremendous kick under pressure. The kickoff return by Harmon of 48 yards was a new Holiday Bowl record. It was vitally important in setting up the field position to give the Hawkeyes a chance to win it. Well, another stunner in the Holiday Bowl. There's Coach Stoll's Headed for the locker room, a disappointing head coach, but what a remarkably fine year it's been for them. Hawkeyes win it 39-38. Well, it's a happy new year already for the Iowa Hawkeyes, who've journeyed here along with about 12,000 of their fans, and they win this one, and I'll tell you, it was a super football game. It really was, David. I'll tell you what, not much to say. Great offensive performance by both clubs, and we certainly got every bit of football that we bargained for here tonight. Hartley got the high pass from center down. Houtland got the kick away. It's the fourth time in two years that he's won a football game for Iowa like that. Rob Houtland is our Budweiser MVP as he wins it as time runs out for Hayden Fry's Iowa Hawkeyes. Rob Hotland, our player of the game, and what a job he did. Well, his great pressure, a uh, 41-yard field goal. The snap was hot. Way Excellent hot. job of Hartley to get the, the placement down. You can see Denny Stoles obviously very disappointed when that thing goes through. Well, Denny Stoles has done, as we said right at the top of this telecast, a truly remarkable job turning things around here. He's going to be back with that chemistry of his, and we look forward to seeing them play again, and of course the Iowa Hawkeyes. And the final score again, Iowa 39, San Diego State 38. For Dave Logan, Jay Randolph. We hope you enjoy tonight's special sports presentation. This game was presented by SeaWorld Enterprises Incorporated. No other day makes you feel this way. And by Budweiser, Beechwood Age for that clean, crisp taste. This Bud's for you. From Jack Murphy Stadium, the final again in the 86 SeaWorld Holiday Bowl. Hawkeyes of Iowa, 39. Aztecs of San Diego State, 38. Good night from Southern California.